Well, turning to weather now, it's going to be a little bit cooler down here in the city and the mountains. They're looking forward to some snow. Some more snow moving into the high country. Great for our snowpack. Avalanche danger, though, still a concern as we go through this holiday weekend. Temperatures right now, we're in the mid to upper 30s under a mostly cloudy sky in Denver. It's still dry up near Vail, but we're expecting to see more widespread snow later on this afternoon. It's a fast moving system rolling in from the southwest, already bringing some snow to Colorado's western slope. We'll start to see a little more snow shower activity filtering into our central then northern mountains, which are all under winter weather advisory until at least five o'clock tomorrow morning. And then, then further down to the southwest, a winter storm warning will stay in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. Heaviest snow expected down near Durango and Telluride as we get into later on this evening. Temperatures right now, it's dry with 20s and 30s across the plains. Already 40 degrees though in Castle Rock and high 40s down south near Trinidad, upper 20s, low 30s across the northeastern plains. In and around Metro Denver for this afternoon, it's going to be mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures, yes, will be cooler than yesterday, but it was well above seasonal normals for yesterday afternoon with 50s. Today, we'll expect highs to top out in the 40s. Here's a look at our statewide future cast by 9 o'clock this morning. More of that snow will become heavier down across southwestern Colorado, filtering in up north near Rabbit Ears Pass, Steamboat Springs, Vail, Silverthorne, Idaho Springs. We'll start to see more of that snowfall right around midday into early afternoon. So if you are driving back down the hill from a day of skiing or boarding. Definitely be prepared for some winter weather across northeastern Colorado. We could see a few rain snow showers and the metro area trace amounts if any snowfall expected. We could be seeing around a tenth of an inch fall near Parker up through Brighton. It's mainly the mountains that'll see the moisture with one to four inches from Winter Park up through Grand Lake. Three to six even more up over higher terrain near Rabbit Ears Pass. And as mentioned, the heaviest snowfall will be down across our San Juan Mountain Range with around six to 12 inches possible. A rain snow mix across the plains could create a little bit of a slick early morning commute. But if you have the day off for the MLK holiday, expect partly cloudy skies and milder temperatures back to the upper 40s with more sunshine. Here's a look at our super seven day forecast. This system will roll out quite quickly later on tonight, clearing skies by Monday morning. Tuesday, increasing cloud cover to touch cooler and a stronger storm system set to roll in by midweek. Mountain snow develops on Tuesday. Chance for light to moderate snowfall here for the Denver area on Wednesday and temperatures only in the mid 30s for highs. And then by the end of the week, Jessica, we do have another cold front set to roll in. So a little bit of everything on this seven day forecast.